unbelievable. This, this museum is unbelievable. And I don't know if you can actually hear me because uh, there's music playing in here in the Mercedes Museum. But this is absolutely, absolutely unbelievable. Here in Stuttgart, they have a lot of museums here. Uh, Porsche and Mercedes are two of the most favorite museums. People come from around the world that come to these museums here. And, uh, you know, looking at this car, you can actually see why. This is the Carl Benz and uh, Gottlieb Daimler um, Museum here in Stuttgart. And this whole area is, um, is well, God, I mean, I can't, I can't imagine how big it is. If you go outside, um, walk around the whole area, it'll probably take you a while. It's, a, it's like a whole town where this um, Mercedes-Benz museum and factory and places the park is. And, uh, yeah, well, they have all of this fantastic construction. This thing right here is, is massive. It's really, really big. Uh, hold on, let's see if we can zoom in here. We got other people standing here, so it's okay. Mercedes Simplex 60 uh, PS Riser Limousine, so travel limousine is what that says. 1904. For you car buffs, that's the uh, information as far as how big it was, how fast it'll go, the KW, which means the kilowatt hours, and the PS, which is the horsepower. Yeah. But you're gonna have to go online and check this out. Even though the technology of video cameras and stuff is excellent, you're not gonna really be able to see what I see or get an idea of how big this museum is until you go online. And you're probably wondering, what in the world is this? This is a 1908 Mercedes 75 horsepower Doppel Phantom. Yeah. It says Mercedes 75 horsepower Doppel Phantom. I think that's double Phantom. And this one is um, 75 PS. 55 kW, you can see the rest there. But what they gave us is these things right here. And uh, it has headphones on it. And it gives you all the information about stuff while you're walking around. There's a little place here on the front. See this right here? Those little things line up to this thing right here, which is the information thing. And then it starts talking. And it goes, it's, this thing right here, this device is from Mercedes, of course, and it a, does a whole bunch of um, different languages. Yeah, unbelievable. Let me give you a little pan shot here. Right now I'm on the second floor. I think this thing is like, this museum is like five, six floors. People say that it takes you about four hours at least four hours to walk around because these right here those little windows you see is additional information about things throughout time here in Europe mostly Germany France and but they say it takes about four hours to, to take it all in and to um, read it all there's a lot of reading you can listen you know it's just the works so If you ever come to Germany, if you're already here in Germany or whatever, you definitely have to come to this museum because they have gone way above and beyond as far as um, establishing everything you need to know about Mercedes and the whole era back in the late 1800s, like 1885, all the way up until, well, now. Because you saw the the cars out front of the museum when we came in. 
And so they show the race cars, Mercedes race cars, and they actually did uh, trains, they did boats. The, the, the Mercedes engines, or Daimler, Gottlieb, what was it? Gottlieb, uh, Daimler, and Carl Benz, as well as William Maybach, or Maybach. Their, their uh, designs was used for everything. Look at this. This is, I'm gonna show you down here. That's over there, right across. That's on another floor down. But then you get an idea of how far down this goes, you know? You see? And some of the coolest elevators I've ever seen bringing people all the way up here. So yeah, I'm looking for Lynn, I don't know. This is another, see they got videos. And people are listening. I don't know if you can hear that. But that's what, you can hear that. Or farming families from Wittenberg and Baden. And that's what's going on. That's what people are listening to. But this is called the honeycomb radiator. <laughs> and that's what they're talking about here in the front of the of the car right here. The honeycomb radiator. It says here. The larger the surface of the radiator, the more heat it can give off into the surrounding atmosphere. And it's in English at the bottom, and it's at German, it's in German at the top. And I thought maybe Lynn would be out by now, so Lynn can say hello to everyone. But, um, I don't know, she might not make it out in time. Look at that huge chain, man. Look how, look how, look how huge this is. Look how thick that is. Look at that, unbelievable. It's really cool that you can touch some of this stuff. These tires right here are made by Michelin. You know, and this is uh, it's wood. If you don't know, uh, like over here in, in Germany, you have benzene. But these, these are the headphones right here. But uh, Carl Benz, right? They named the benzene after him. Carl Benz, benzene, and that's what Germans call fuel. Uh, in England, they call fuel petrol. In America, we call it gas. But here in Germany, of course, they call it benzene. Yeah, they know you have your headphones on because I just explained about the headphones and where we are. And that light behind is kind of really weird, right behind, right here, behind me. So I'm just moving in front of you like this. So the lights on your face. So. You just want to say hey? Hey. What do you um, think of the what do you think of the museum? I love the museum. And I'm not even a um, Mercedes fan per se. Mm-hmm. You're not a Mercedes fan? I mean I like certain Mercedes things, but I'm not like a big fan. Mm-hmm. But it's for, it's still for people who are, who are just interested in how something like a car and a brand developed and all the details and what I really love, what my thing is and why I'm here is I like the vintage cars. Mm -hmm. I want to see the old buses mm -hmm. from the mm -hmm. 50s mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all those things. Mm -hmm. Can you just walk around, just move a little bit so we can just have different things behind you? That's why I was pointing to the left. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right, it's all right. Yeah, because I was telling everyone, like right now it's uh, 10 minutes and 43 seconds, and I was just telling everyone about how magnificent this place is. and it's, oh, it's and how, wonderful. Yeah. It's and that, intricate. Yeah. And how people say it takes about four hours if you're gonna go through here. And this is just the Mercedes Benz Museum. They have the Porsche Museum. Right. You gotta come. I mean, Stuttgart's beautiful. And it is very, very nice outside. It's like June weather. Right there, you see all that light in that window. <laughs> but out there is a, is a highway. I guess I'll, I'll show you. But um, yeah, so that's what I was talking about. And these elevators, look at this elevator over here. This is a, I wanted to show you the elevator, see? That's the... It's amazing, right?
got some type of video going on over her. So here's another one coming up. Looks like a little capsule pod. You said it looks like a capsule pod? Yeah, it does. It actually looks like something to me that would be on Tron or on um, Robocop or something like that. And it just disappears into the ceiling. Cheers. Actually, there's a floor up there. It's one floor up. Don't want to keep everybody too long. I just wanted to pass off the information about this fantastic museum and uh, to tell you, you have to come to the Mercedes Benz. Must see. You have to. I mean, it's just, it's, it's amazing. There's, uh, it's, the environment is really uh, air conditioned, so, and it's not cold or anything. It's just right. Probably like about 65, 70 degrees in here. You know? right. Yeah. Right. So, I don't know. Yeah, it's perfect. And it's for everybody. Male, mm -hmm. female, young, old. Yeah. And for everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm ready to go look at the old cars and stuff. But All right. I haven't gotten to that part yet. Yeah. Well. Quite exciting. Yeah. So let me go over to this wall. I just wanted to show this window over here. She was trying to hide in the bathroom. I know it. Kind of Lynn's kind of camera shy. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> Or she not, or self-conscious like me, because you know, how we're gonna look on camera. We don't have all the right lighting and all that stuff. I look that, better uh, in person. Yeah, yeah. And so this is what I was talking about as far as what was outside of the windows. But right over there in the background is the Mercedes-Benz Arena, and it says that right there. But this whole area, this whole area that you see outside. It's surrounded by everything that has to do with Mercedes-Benz. These fields, sponsored by them, that's their stadium over there. Um, and what I was talking about over here is the doggone highway. You see that? You see, and there's these little things that Lynn has on. It hangs around your neck, has a little, you see, Mercedes-Benz. It hangs around the neck. And it's, it's great with the little... With the ear yeah, headphones. With the, with the headphones and all that stuff. So they... The Wi-Fi and yeah. connect to the information. Yeah, she said it's Wi-Fi and it connects to the information if you can hear it. Just a minute ago, I was showing you the cars. And this is the buses. This is a 2009 Mercedes-Benz bus right here. It's a 2009, 335 kW and 456 horsepower, 11,967 11, displacement. It says it's first class, four stars, with a little kitchen, air conditioning, bathroom, video, you can watch video on there. Has a telephone and probably has Y, Fi on there as well. That's the bus. Unbelievable. Now keep this in mind because I want to show you one from 1940 from Mercedes Benz. You know, about 60 years, a little bit over 60 years before this bus. But look at this one. This is something you see in circuses, novelty, uh, movies from back in the 30s and 40s. This is, uh, I don't even know how much this would cost, you know? If it was gonna be auctioned off or something. You know what I mean? How much do you think this would cost, Lynn, if it was gonna be auctioned off? How much? I don't know, 400,000? 400,000, Lynn said. This is called a 1907 Malinus. Daimler, Doppler, Decker bus, it's a double Decker bus. 21 kW, only 21 kW and 28 PS. Amazing, for those who know about engines. Four cylinders, it seats 34. It says the Millennium Daimler double Decker bus. Saw so, uh, used in London in 1904 and on yeah 
So that's this is where I've seen it in all those favorite movies back in the day. Yeah. yeah. This is the. Uh, you hear that? It's hard. Long time of before I guess we start using rubber. Just the foot pedals and stuff. Amazing. This sign says London Motor Omnibus, COLD, which I guess was says Company Limited, Albany Street Garage, Regent's Park. Passengers are strictly prohibited to ride beside the driver. Look at the side of it. It looks like a big ass billboard. And on the very top up there are seats. So, yeah, this thing is really big. It's huge, actually. This is huge. And this is how you got upstairs. R one two three four. Amazing. Huge man. Who knows how this is thing is made out of we got wood and and metal and again this is nineteen oh seven. Yeah. So let me show you the other bus next to this big baby right here. Yeah, let me show you this one. Check this one out. This one's from 1940. 1940. Nineteen forty. Nineteen forties Mercedes Benz all weather. Diesel. It's another one here. Who knows what this is? I'm almost out of battery power. But we're going to see if we can work it. We're going to work it until it is all gone. Yeah, this one is 1952. And I don't know if this is a diesel. This bad boy is 66 kW, 90 PS. Seats 29 people. It seats 29 people in production from 19... 45 to 1955 and look at this one over here We're looking at nine minutes and 30 seconds. We're running out of juice Amazing We're running out of juice you must come here. This is 1969 here six cylinders 120 PS which is horsepower PS is in Germany and 88 kW In production from 1966 to 1972 and uh, it only seated 21 people 1969 Mercedes-Benz LO 1112 Omnibus that license plate says Provincia Buenos Aires mm. 
just in case you can't read it all maybe I'm moving a little bit too fast but my battery power is just about gone yeah look at that excellent paint job huh excellent love it yeah and uh, it just goes on and on and on. Back to the cars again. This one is something that Al Capone would use, right? See me over there? Hi. This is something right here that Al Capone would use. Yeah, the gangster from 1939. This is a 1939 car. Mercedes-Benz 320 Strom line in limousine. Six cylinders in production from 1937 to 1942. They sold 5,097 of these. Had 78 PS of horsepower, 57 kW. Yeah, the displacement for the engine is 3,405 centimeters, so 3,405 centimeters. Wicked man, unbelievable. It is so cool, this car. It's a trunk back there. Oh, you want to see inside? I don't know, it's so much glare. Leather seats, red interior. Bows look great. A lot of room in the back seat there. And it's a wrap. <laughs>